Fine. <laughs> I'll pass. Well, it, it seems like River would very much be able to uh, hold her own, as Alex is able to hold her own against John Barrowman. Totally, but... totally. But you see, I think Captain Jack might like the Centurion look. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like that would fluster Rory a little bit. That would. Yeah, would I be... see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. You got your banana, right? Okay. All right, banana, banana time again. Okay, I'm going a little more obscure now. Um, who, who's on the stand right now? On this side, yeah. Hello. Hi, okay. Who, okay, here I go. Um, who was the doctor when the Cybermen were first introduced? Why do I go? What, the first doctor? The ver you mean, so your answer is William Hartnell? Yes. I actually don't know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Patrick Trout. Yes. Yeah. 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 Wait, is it Patrick Trout? Yeah, it's the second doctor. Oh, it was Hartnell? No. Oh, I thought it was. All right, well, I don't get a banana. You get a banana. Yeah. You don't get a banana. I do not get a banana. No bananas for me because I didn't okay. even <laughs> no potassium for me today. Aww. But what was your question? So my question is if you ever kept anything like props or wardrobe from set. Um, I stole the binoculars from the TARDIS. <laughs> um, didn't say anything to anyone, just took them. I think I deserve them. And they're just in my living room now. Damn right. Um, but also I have um, the painting of the sunflowers from the Van Gogh. <laughs> Or Amy on it, and then my dad hunted it down for me in secret and got it for me for my birthday. Aww. Aww. All the producers and everything, and it was like so sweet. That's, oh, that's, that's great. I have to say, we were, I was asked this question. Um, we were asked this question last weekend in Chicago, and you know, I played with a song who's sort of like you know, she steals like the largest diamond in the universe <laughs> and hides it in her cleavage, and she does all this <laughs> random thing. Participation bananas. You know, not everybody gets. 
aside for Karen. <laughs> if they were to approach you about a spin-off of Rimmer's songs like Like Would the you Diary of Rimmer's Song? Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> the best thing ever. I want to see a road trip um, film in space with this mother and daughter. Oh, that would be cool. Accidentally <laughs> killing people along the way. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no one in space. Yeah. Good one, baby. Yeah. Oh, how fantastic yeah. that'd be. That'd oh be brilliant. Oh my God, badass road trip. That's what Stephen Moffat should write. Now. Oh, for God's sake, yeah. yes! Yeah. Yeah. And I could, I could rescue you, I could just go back in time and rescue you from yeah. all those weeping angels, and then we just Woo! leave the glory behind. Yeah. Yeah. Because why, why should you say Rory? Like, right? Like, like, He's busy with Captain Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Muse or, or Alex Mings, it was Stephen Moffat's muse because he seemed to always relish specifically writing your character. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think River, um, sorry Sue, <laughs> I think River was sort of somehow Stephen's kind of somewhat maybe fetishistic fantasy, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I mean, it's, it's sort of Great. I mean, you know, it's a guy writing sort of this fantastic female character. So there's got to be, I mean, with any role you write, there's a connection. Mm -hmm. So he obviously um, is feels super connected to River. I think that the truth is Stephen Moffat, I think, sees himself, you know, whether it's conscious or not, I think he's the doctor. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and that's why the, you know the doc he, the doctor has always been sort of a, li <laughs> a little strange. <laughs> 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 um, uh, but um, yeah, I mean I um, uh, oh now I've forgotten the song because I it, it's um, uh, oh it's oh okay I, I, my brain I'm so tired. Um, there is a line in. Um, uh, the singer. What's this? Uh, I can't even sing the song. Don't ask me. Um, <laughs> crazy enough. love. Crazy love. Um, there is a line um, where um, uh, it's um, what's his name? The Irish singer. Um, Ed Sheeran. Um, no, not Ed Sheeran. Old school. Old school. Sorry. Van Morrison. Yeah, exactly. Van Morrison. Van Morrison. Crazy love. That deserves um, a banana. banana. Love, love, love. Yeah, yeah. He, listen to that because um, uh, he mentions River's song. <gasps> that's no, really. Yeah. That's Is that where River's song comes from? I wonder. That's <laughs> oh. Well, oh. Wow. Um, she's really? here, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> so that could be. And I, I, there's sometimes when Stephen um, writes episodes, and I actually sometimes wonder what soundtrack he's listening to as he's writing. Because there's, there was, I can't remember which episode it was, but I was like, oh, damn it, he's been listening to Miss American Pie. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, because who the hell can figure that song out? Yeah. Uh, uh, like one of those things. Um, yeah, so have I answered that question? <laughs> it's interesting. There could be an episode in the spin-off where River Song goes uh, and has a tryst with Van Morrison. Yeah. Be right the song. It's all coming together. Uh, all right, uh, over here. Uh, Karen, did you okay, have a banana time? Banana time. Banana time. Okay, so I would like you to name. I'm trying to see if it's a child or not. That's asking the question. Um, I would like you to name all the past five. Doctors in reverse order, starting with Jody. <laughs> okay, Jody, yep. Peter Capaldi, yep. Matt Smith, mm -hmm. David Tennant, 
Christopher Eccleston. John Hurt. Oh, good. Oh. Trying to trick you. But I, I should know better at dragon. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, what's your question, sir, who has earned the banana so valiantly? Thank you. So I asked the same question earlier today to Matt Smith. I'm curious what your answers will be. So, of all the episodes that you have been in, which one or ones were your favorite to do? So favorite episodes for both of you guys. Um, for me, the eleventh hour is really up there, just because we were establishing the characters, and it felt like it was maybe Stephen Moffat's one of his strongest episodes, writing-wise. Um, and I loved it because my little cousin played the younger version of my character and made everyone fall in love with my character for me. <laughs> so then I could just come in and, and already be liked, which was perfect, actually. Because we're in fish sticks. It was amazing. <laughs> you know, she's 16 years old now. Wow. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. She yeah. was nine when she was little Amelia. Oh, oh my God. So does she want to be, can, is she still an actor or was she? Yeah, well she, um, yeah, so she just did a short film recently in Scotland. So she still does it a little bit. And I think she's going to study acting in the place where I studied when I was 16. So, so she's gonna... now that you're doing more and more directing, yeah. There's that chance down the road that you could like direct her. You could direct yeah. her in a horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> 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 red Wellington. Oh, the killer red Wellington. Yeah, like when you wear them, you get set like the red shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, although I don't know about putting my cousin in a horror movie and then making it all gory and scary. Or maybe it would be fun. Change my age now, maybe. Alex, a uh, favorite episode? I, I don't, I can't name a favorite episode. I mean, I loved working with Peter Capaldi um, because uh, we just sort of had so much, sort of just like, so much fun with him in a way. It was, I had the most to do in that episode because it was kind of um, pretty much a two-hander. Um, so, and, and it's the Christ, one of the Christmas specials and they're always so sort of snowy. <laughs> Lovely. Um, but um, of course, the very first episode I was in, because that's ultimately defined um, so much of my uh, co recent career, because the character has just gone on and on and on when I didn't expect it. So um, I have a very special place in my heart for that. Um, but, uh, but I mean, really, to, to actually say this is my absolute ultimate favorite, I can't, because they're all just so good. I mean, Stephen Moffat wrote them all, for goodness sake, mm -hmm. so they have to be all good. <laughs> mm. I mean, even for a show that bounces around time and space, your character has an especially kind of complicated timeline based on what we've seen. For you, even though the story is all constantly unfolding in different spots, can you think of it in a, in a sort of a linear fashion? Can you kind of keep track of where her journey is and has been? Um, no. <laughs> no. I mean, I know now, for example, there is, there is a, well, there is an end, there's a beginning end, beginning slash end, um, and then there is the beginning of the end, but there's everything else in yeah. the middle. Uh, and I mean, certainly in the last, the, the, uh, the Husbands of River Song, when she's presented with her sonic screwdriver, um, he, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't go off on her um, mission um, to, um, you know, save the, the planet from the Vashta Narada. She doesn't do that for, you know, uh, how many is it? 27. 27? Yeah. Okay. So uh, there's a lot of time for tea and cakes and everything else in between. Um, and she could actually go off on adventures. Um, and also because of her. Uh, because of her ability to time travel, you just don't know what has happened in, in the yeah. um, So, uh, but there, I mean, there is a sort of, there's a, a sort of, um, it's almost like a skeleton, which is now linear, and it's just how much that wants to be fleshed in. Right. Cool. Yeah. Over here? Uh, oh banana time. Wait, are we, are we still banana time? We've got one banana left. Hang on a minute. One banana left. left. 
I mean, you got to make it hard for a final banana. <laughs> it's very intense up here all of a sudden. Like, things are heated. Like, it's... There's lots of swearing taking place. Like, no! Oh, I feel really oh, bad for you. you. Well, well, this is the I have no shame, so bring it. Sorry. Yeah, this is going to be tough, my friend. I, I'm pulling for you, but... Okay, um, the two people who are standing um, and are going to ask the questions, um, they, have, you got, have you both got microphones? So I do. So the one there and then the one there. Okay. Okay, so, okay. so you have to come to the front here. Yes. Okay, front of my... Oh, oh, oh. Both of you have to come. Even if there's only one microphone to share, you've both got to come to the front. Is this what you made by no shame? Is there something very large on your head? <laughs> we picked a right one here. <laughs> With a balloon on his head. It is Sunday. Couldn't plan that better. Okay, here they come. You'll know they're up here when you see the guy with the balloon on his head. Shouldn't you introduce him? Okay, who's the winner? 